Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Noelle. I do kind of lifestyle content, just random things here and there. Today, I want to do like spring cleaning. Obviously, it's almost spring, but more importantly, I feel like we're about to go on a, a vacation. I always like sorting through my clothes, need to deep clean all the bathrooms. I feel like we've lived in this house long enough that it's just time for a deep clean. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. I also have a couple other things like I need to get my graduation cap and gown. Yeah, so spend the day with me. Let's hang out. I hope you guys are having a great day. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. I woke up today so quickly because I set my alarm actually later than I normally do from when I work from home. Um, but I've been trying to do this again. I kind of took a break from it because... I felt like I was writing the exact same thing like every single day. But if you guys don't know what this is, it kind of, it's just a good journal to, that's super quick. It has five prompts, three in the morning, two at night, just to kind of get your head in a positive mindset. So if you're struggling with that, these are some of the prompts. It has a little quote at the top. It has weekly challenges. And then at night, um, it has two prompts as well. So I've been trying to get back on my grind because I feel like I've been in my head a lot. And it's really good to just practice being positive, remembering positive things. I don't know about y'all, but I used to just always remember all of the negative because honestly, in this world, it's it's hard to be positive. It's hard to be happy. I know that sounds really weird, but um, the other book I was reading for work, The Happiness Advantage, it talks a lot about that. But just society, media, not just social media, but media, social media, um, there's a lot of negative stuff out there. It's easier to remember the negative. It's easier to remember the bad. Kind of have to work at being happy and positive. Again, I know that sounds crazy, but at least for me, that's the truth. And so I'm gonna write in this right now and then I think clean the bathroom. Also, I got my water. I was for a moment there feeling really dehydrated and like thirsty all the time. So I've been drinking honestly like two, two and a half of these. This is a half gallon, 64 ounce one. Um, I need to get Justin one and honestly probably another one so I can rotate them more, but drink your water. All right, this is the state of it before. It's not gonna look really less decluttered, but I'm gonna clean the mirror, clean this, clean in the bathroom, get rid of that trash. Before I get started, these are the products I use. I just use a Lysol, Clorox, whatever. Um, for the counters, Windex for our mirror and the glass. Well, I guess they're both mirrors. <laughs> and then I use this for the toilet, just, I don't know, Justin uses this, so this is what we've been using. And then these are for the shower and we don't have a tub in here, but for the tub. Honestly, the best way or the easiest way to clean your shower is to just do it while you're showering. So that's what I've been doing lately. So I'll do that tonight or over the weekend. after i hope you can tell a difference i put a few things there away and threw some stuff away but i think the sink you can tell the best and then the mirror as well um now i'm going to clean the toilet area and the trash i'm not going to show that i don't i think it's gross when people show that stuff so just trust that i cleaned it all right both bathrooms downstairs are now clean i'm in the closet now I actually last night or yesterday just went through a couple of my clothes. I tried on some dresses and shorts um, and I have this pile up here. This is like a donate pile or if any of my friends come and any of the stuff fits them, they can have it. Um, 
So I organized this coat section a couple days ago and I'm pretty happy with all my clothes now. So I don't think I need to sort through any of that. I honestly, the one issue I have though, I am accumulating so many t-shirts and I don't know what to do with them. It's like a lot of Villanova stuff from college that I don't want to get rid of, but I don't know what to do with them. And it's kind of ridiculous to have a full drawer of t-shirts when I don't wear them that often. So if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know. And now I'm going to do the laundry. I also need to eat. I always forget to eat when I'm in one of these like cleaning moods because I just want to get everything done kind of like back to back to back. But I do need to eat breakfast. I haven't eaten anything today. And it's kind of hitting me. I'm kind of feeling a little lightheaded. So after I put the laundry in, I'm going to make breakfast. I don't know if you can hear in the back, but the vacuum robot is running. So that is super nice to save from vacuuming the entire bottom floor. I've just been going around the house picking up like cords and stuff so it doesn't run those over. And it is only like 10 o'clock right now, I think. No. Maybe like 10.30, so we are doing good. And after the laundry, I'm going to chill because I'm getting tired. Another thing to help the robot, I just put away all of our shoes on our shoe rack. And then after I start the laundry, I will put away all these clothes as well. Oh god, I just shut the door so you guys can hear me, but I feel like laundry and dishes just, they never end. And, what the heck is that? It's stuck. It's just unfortunate. I feel like, it's been almost a week, but I did two loads of laundry so that we had nothing in our laundry bins over the weekend. And today is Thursday, we already have a full bin. And it's just kind of crazy. I can't even imagine if you have a kid or even more than one kid, I bet you're doing laundry like every single day. So I guess be grateful now. This is kind of stuffed, but we're gonna do it. And <sighs> I'm tired. So I just filmed the voiceover for my short, as you can hear. Just gonna turn that off. And then I'm just gonna put this as a draft so that I can upload it for either later tonight or tomorrow to try to make people subscribe for part two. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a caption, nighttime routine, part two, and some hashtags. Okay, so I just saved that as a draft. I use either Shorts Instagram to edit, but I've been trying to use this app called InShot. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Just so I can use the video for both Instagram and YouTube. Honestly, different video styles or content do better on Instagram versus YouTube. I just am explaining this because I hate when creators kind of like gatekeep what they do or how they um, are successful. Not that I'm very successful. I have a small following, but appreciate you all. Just creating videos for me is just fun. That's why I do it. It's a creative outlook. Obviously I don't have the most views or anything like that, but for me, it's just like the creativity of coming up with ideas and then executing them is fun for me. So that's why I do it and also memories for like vacation vlogs and things like that. But that's what I'm doing right now. I have my laptop here. I am going to order my cap and gown. What else? There's gonna be a lot of fun content coming up because we are going on a vacation. So I wanna do videos for like prep of that. Obviously I'm going to film a ton when we're there. And so look out for that content. And yeah, it'll just be fun. We are having a midday snack. Justin and I are gonna share this instant ramen, but just wanna say, I think this is my favorite instant ramen ever. Officially, it's won the title. If you guys have a better ramen that I should try, let me know because you guys know I love my ramen, but this one, it just has like the perfect amount of flavor, perfect amount of spice. The noodles are 
bomb. But yeah, we're going to share this. And then we have, we've actually tried, this is our second time trying the pickup from Walmart. So we're going to go pick that up in what, like an hour and a half, I think, um, for all of our groceries. Last time it actually went pretty well. They only forgot bananas and then they got us a package of bagels that were like all cut up and messed up. But other than that, everything was really good. I know it's kind of like a gamble. It just depends on who kind of fills your cart, but so far we like it and it saves us a lot of time and grocery shopping is not one of our favorite tasks to do, so. We'll definitely take a sponsorship though. Walmart, what's going on? Then, uh, little collaboration. We love Walmart. <laughs> That's my ad. We love Walmart. We love companies that kill mom and pop companies. We love it. We love the virus called Walmart. Honestly nope. though, if you got if I don't have to go in the store anymore, then yeah, I'm on board. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely a win for both of us, but Justin specifically, I feel like <laughs> I need to tell my story. Your story? It's a short story. I hate going inside and shopping. Mm. Walmart lights are always too bright for me and they always hurt my eyes. I don't know why my eyes always hurt in Walmarts. I guess it's like the fluorescent bulbs or something. But if I'm in there for longer than like 20 minutes, my eyes start hurting and then I get a headache. And then like people in there like kids are crying. And there's just too much going on. I'm just trying to get food. I've had my fair. Sucks. I've had my fair share of Walmart moments as well. Oh yeah, like last time. <laughs> Literally last time we went, that was a you. Yeah, last time I, we went, I fe felt like I was about to faint. So I literally had to just open a Gatorade. I chugged the entire thing in like two seconds. And then I waited in the car until Justin finished. Because I just felt really lightheaded. And I don't know if it was the lights, whether I hadn't eaten that much. Um, or or what it was. But I have also... <laughs> should I tell them what happened? What else happened? What else happened? What else happened? What? A long time ago, we were in Walmart, and, um... Oh, you want to talk about that? That's so random. Okay. We... I didn't tell it. You didn't tell it, no. That's my favorite Walmart story. So, we were walking in Walmart, right? We were in, uh, we were in, we were in Maryland. And it wasn't that crowded, but it also... <coughs> I don't know. It, it was not that crowded. It was not that crowded, right? <laughs> So I'm just minding my business, right? Not minding your business. And I'm just walking. You're walking fast. <laughs> okay, I was just walking, right? And I am six foot, almost six one. You were like following behind me. I and what? I had the car. You were like kind of like walking. Yeah, I was just following him, and <laughs> out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. It really was out of nowhere. <laughs> this kid <laughs> is just right below my arm. He so was like he was like maybe like ten or eleven. Yeah. Probably. So. Like I said, I'm tall, so where my hands are kind of swinging, I accidentally hit him in the face <laughs> because he just came out of nowhere and he was he was walking the opposite way and I was like, not that I was like swinging my arms like this, but um, just where my arm was kind of when I was like walking casually, it just, his head, yeah, yeah, his head was, and my hand just met. It was, yeah, it was like walking through Walmart or Target and you're walking through like the clothing section. Yeah. And the kid is like shorter than all the clothing. And yeah, he, I, mean, I he feel like he was, nowhere, he, he was stuff. walking pretty fast too. Like he was like running around, you know how kids like run around, they're like having fun yeah, in the like store. Like yeah. <laughs> so we perfectly match up and his face just, my hand and his face just you meet. Pretty, you pretty much didn't run that kid. In the face. And then I was so scared because I was like, I hope he doesn't go crying to his mom yeah, or whatever. He was so shocked. And I was like. Oh my god. He was so and shocked. Man. Luckily he yeah, he was just no, kinda we, stunned. We kept walking though. We didn't give him an opportunity, nothing. We just were walking so Yeah, hard. I was just like, keep going. And I saw the whole thing was, I was like, like keep sorry. It moving, keep it moving. <laughs> but yeah, that's my other Walmart story. Ah. I hit a kid in the face with my hand. So ah. sorry to that kid. He was okay. He didn't cry. So good for him. You smacked the socks. And out of that he kid. just kept moving on. You we both just kept moving on. The boogers out of his nose, dude. Yeah, we shop, we grocery shop at Walmart. We're trying the pickup. That was probably our first crime together, honestly. <laughs> you know, that's, that was a bomb for us. We're um, trying, crime, crime together. trying the curbside pickup. And that's the story. And we're getting groceries today. So it's actually cool though, because you can just 
whatever you bought last time, you can just say like, put in my card again, and then you can just edit it. Yeah. So all in all, it takes probably like, I mean, if you're, if you're focused, it would take 15 minutes to order your groceries. Yeah. And then you just have to select a time to pick it up. Um, oh yeah. So. And then you don't even have to get out of your car. Mm -mm. They just come to your car. You just open up the trunk. They open it for you. Yeah. You just unlock your door. They check your ID to make sure it matches and you're like the right person, I guess. So you still have to like technically interact with people, but it's just a little bit less. But like one person versus like one the person. entire store. Yeah, 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 exactly. And you don't have to walk around the store. So yeah, Walmart will be around if you want to uh, send us some. Are you going to share that with me? I have two bites. You don't even need the whole video. Literally, I have Everybody video. Play back. Y'all play it have... back. How many <laughs> bites did she take? Dude? I just took my third bite. Nah, no way. Oh my god. You've been shoving your face the whole time. You've been playing a game, so you haven't even been watching. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> we just got done putting away the groceries. I'm refilling our salt. Got this refill. I actually really like these salt and pepper shakers we got. We got them at Walmart. And they are really nice. You just screw that back on. So we have one for salt, obviously, and then one for pepper. Really like that. And then something else I do is fill up our rice bucket. Ooh. And this is brown rice. Just try to be a little healthier. So this is our pantry and one thing we always struggle with is snacks. So basically like this is our snack shelf. So if you guys have ideas for healthy snacks, just good snacks to buy and have in the house, comment down below please because we always struggle with that. I mean as you can tell not that many snacks for two weeks. We shop every two weeks and yeah it always feels like we buy more food than when we put it away, then it's like, did we really buy that much? I don't know, but that's the groceries. And then we did stop by Dunkin' on the way, um, but I'm gonna add some more milk. Always shake your almond milk because otherwise it separates and like clear stuff comes out. I've done that before, but I'm just adding more milk because I'm a wimp when it comes to caffeine and that is okay. So. <laughs> this is a iced caramel latte with almond milk and I just added extra. We usually get almond breeze vanilla unsweetened. And then we also got some munchkins. So I'm not too hungry right now, but I'll have them in a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go upstairs and watch my work laptop and phone for any tickets that come in or any emails or Oh, there the robot goes again. Um, but I have my workout class today at 5.30, so we'll leave a little bit before five. I'm gonna drop Justin off at the gym while I work out as well. And then we'll have to figure out dinner. We are back from the gym and I'm just putting away my work stuff. I successfully did not hit myself with weights, which is great because the past two times I did. And I have a gnarly bruise on my knee. Sorry, I got distracted. I forgot you were doing the video. No, I was just looking at something on my work phone, but it's after work hours and I am very passionate, strict, whatever you want to call it, about work-life balance. So at 5 o'clock, all devices go off and life begins. <laughs> um, but yeah, I work tomorrow in the office, so just packing my backpack and getting it all set for tomorrow. Gotta to figure out what I'm gonna eat for dinner. <laughs> Justin's taking all his snacks upstairs. That's the thing about grocery shopping. We always eat like our favorite snacks first. I'm sure everyone does because you're excited about the new food you have. Quick survey. Quick surfing? Quick survey. Oh. You guys use that chat GPT thing, huh? Okay. <laughs> comment in the comment section with your comment. Comment below if you even know what chat GPT is. 
I have this pin. I have three years at the company I've been at, so that's fun. Backpack is ready to go. I need to pack my lunch. I'm going to try to drink the rest of this so I'm not dehydrated. And I got to get dinner. Oh, and we got to find the rock. The rock. We gotta find Mr. Mike, we call him. It's our robot vacuum. He gets stuck very frequently, so I can't really decide if the robot is really, oh, he's stuck on socks. I can't decide if the robot is really like more beneficial because you kind of have to like chase it around. Um, And like, see, he's stuck right now on a sock, which is just not, I didn't know the sock was down here, so that's, Where's the other sock? There's gotta be another sock somewhere. I'm not sure where he grabbed the sock from. So, takes a while to clean, but it does save me from doing the cleaning myself. You win some, you lose some. My battery's about to die, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Day in my life, comment below what kind of videos you wanna see, what shorts you wanna see, really anything because I'm just trying to one I mean like I said I try to have fun with this it's my creative outlet but I also want to engage more with my viewers so comment down below what you want to see if you like this video give a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye